I am going to get ready to do my um, clarifying shampoo right so it's all washed out um, not washed out but it's all all detangled um, and what I'm going to use is I am going to use this and this is a clarifying and hydrating uh, shampoo it doesn't matter what name brand it is you just want to go ahead and get it cleansed and once I clean it, of course, it's going to strip everything out. I'm then going to come back with my regular shampoo, get a hot oil treatment. So let's do it. A clarifying shampoo, I'm going to use this to remove the buildup. So it's not designed for everyday use. Ooh, look at the scalp. Ooh. What you want to do is you want to work a small amount into the hair. If you notice, it lathers instantly. So after it lathers, you're gonna let it sit and then you're gonna rinse it. So a clarifying shampoo, if you do not know, it's used and it's designed to remove buildup, right? And so it's not used for it's not designed for everyday use. It's different from your traditional cleansers because of its level of heavy surfactants. So the surfactants are soap-like ingredients that get rid of the residue, the grease, impurities, anything in your hair that's causing your scalp to become clogged. So you don't want to use it regularly because doing so can have an adverse effect. So be careful that you do not use it on your color treated hair. And make sure if you do have color treated hair that it says that it's color safe. So um, it also, you they also have um, detoxifying um, deep conditioners such as the olive oil, shea butter, and you can also use bentonite clay. So bentonite clay takes a little bit more work but that too can be a clarifying shampoo that also have the built-in um, deep conditioner. So it'll, um, it'll, it'll add moisture to your hair, but the regular clarifying shampoos, it does not add moisture. So be sure that you want to use a conditioner afterwards to seal in the moisture um, in the hair and the cuticles to keep it from drying out. So what I'm going to do afterwards though, is I am going to give myself a hot oil treatment. So I'm gonna go straight into the hot oil treatment. After this, sit under the dryer, and you can check out that video. But yes, look at the lather. So what I wanna do is, I also want to make sure that I um, use a, a shampoo brush. So um, a shampoo brush is what I'm gonna use. This is what it looks like. Uh, you can get it from 98 cents up to like some fancy ones for a dollar something. So this shampoo brush right here, uh, it helps remove the product and build up from your scalp as well. But it also exfoliates the dead skin on the scalp. Because a lot of times we had a dead skin on the scalp and we do not know that it's there. So when we use our regular shampoos or we use our fingers to um, you know, scratch the scalp, we think that we're getting rid of that. So using a shampoo brush, it can aid with the um, help of to help our hair becomes healthy it can help our hair become healthy and it can also have our scalp um, healthy as well the bristles stimulate the cells within our scalp and it increases the blood flow and it, that can help with hair growth as well so if you notice I'm kind of like quickly raking it through through the hair you know it has a clarifying shampoo on there it doesn't matter what brand you get really unless you're looking for something that does not um, that is color safe if you have color safe so afterwards rinse it out once I rinse it out yes so there you have it um, getting ready for this hot oil treatment you all so please like share subscribe if you have not done so and I thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.